Bully. How are you this morning? Say, say that again. Bully. They All say right. I brought most of the troops. We might have lost some of them. How are you this morning? Oh, good to see you. Good, so to, good see to see you. See you. Well, let's go ahead and march. Ahead. Go take a look out at the birds at the observation station. They've got a beautiful I'm going white to crane. With my, my dear old friend from out Wheeler Way, uh, Jerry Coffey. Her late husband, Colonel Ray Coffey, was a West Point graduate, uh, sent to West Point by General Wheeler's daughter, Annie Wheeler. Wow. Uh, and a uh, wonderful family story. Uh, this is one of my bird men here. Yeah, What's your name again, sir? Chuck Hunter. Mr. Hunter. Hi, Chuck. Uh, he's been sharing his knowledge of the birds. Super. Uh, as has uh, Gabriel Garneau. Garneau, yeah. Mr. Gabriel Garneau. Uh, all right. Uh, down from Jackson, Tennessee. Super. I've learned a thing or two today. I'm sure. Well, delighted you're all We here. all learn from each other, don't we? <laughs> That's right. You're going to visit? Please, I'll visit here. Okay. I'll come back up in just a moment. Okay. Nice Terrific. to meet you. I have a question for you. Please, Please sir. Thank um, you. I was recently watching Ken Burns show about buffalo. Oh. Yes, Peter, sir. I, was, I, I went out west to hunt a buffalo before there were no buffalo to hunt. I had not yet developed my thoroughgoing ethic as a conservationist. So I was going to ask you how, how that transition happened. Well, uh, of course, I saw out west that most of the ground had been hunted out, most of the big game decimated, its habitat destroyed. So in 1887, in December of that year, at my dining room table in New York City, I founded Boone and Crockett, the nation's first fair hunting and conservation organization. And eventually, one of our sister organizations was the North American Bison Society, headed by Professor William Hornaday, a member of Boone and Crockett, he, the head of the uh, Bronx Zoo, well, and uh, we propagated the species there, and eventually repopulated. Uh, first, uh, the Niobrara National Forest in Nebraska, but eventually Yellowstone, which is where we had received some of the breeding stock taken to the Bronx Zoo. So if you go out west and listen very closely, you can still hear. Those bison speak with a distinct Bronx accent. <laughs> they came through the bull reef with me on that one, didn't you? Oh, most definitely. Young man, how are you? Have you got a little flat teddy going on there? Well, that's cold tea, cold tea, cold tea. I'm voting for him. May I shake your hand? Good. Ready? All right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Fantastic. And while we were doing that, did your brother fall down? Yes. He does that a lot, doesn't he? He does. It? Right? What's your name, young man? Luke. Very nice to meet you. Try this one over here. Okay. All right, now try the other one over there. All right, now spin around. All right, there you go. Good to see you here. Are these your children, mother? Yes. You're doing the most important work oh. of the Republic. All right, you're doing pretty good work, too. Yes, you, you, you know. You're doing the most important work of the Republic. Come on over, have a picture with me and your brother. All right, you ready, Cole? One, two. Come on in. Nice to meet you, boys. Nice to meet the family. What's the family name? Whitney Tippins. The Tippins. Wonderful to meet you. The Tippins. Yes. The Tippins, wonderful to meet you. Sir, you as well. Quite a pleasure. Are you from here? And uh, where did the Tippins come You're from Georgia? Georgia. And how, how did you happen to be here? Well, my husband is, Where is I it? work here. Yeah. Ah, super. My family, mother's family was from Roswell. I hope you're going to see him talk at the princess today. What time is that? One o'clock. We hope to do Well, my mother and father were married. They'll be there for half joy. But not that it ever did me any good in an election. The South is entirely Democratic. Dixie never voted for the Republican in those days. Well, Mr. Hunter, please. I'm going to go there with scope. 